Hey DMers, this is Will Hankey from Red Canoe Media. Wanted to show you some uh, real quick things that I've discovered with the uh, EP plugin. Uh, so uh, this is my current website. This is through WP Courseware. Uh, looks pretty cool. You know, it's not great, but it's okay. Uh, it does what it needs to do. Uh, but if I look at uh, that in comparison to the new one, obviously I haven't filled everything out. But you can see it does kind of give the same kind of look and feel as the uh, the DM Lab does. A couple things that I've noticed here uh, when I when I click on one of these uh, sections to open it to expand it, it automatically checks the box and changes that amount there. Um, not a big fan of that because if I maybe I only got halfway through this and didn't finish it, I might not want that box checked. The other thing is if I did finish this entire uh, little section here and I went to close it it turns the box off. So that's kind of a problem. It, it messes things up. Um, the, and the other thing here, as you see, it's actually not showing the video when I just stick the code in there like it should. Uh, I think that might be part of the, the Yoast plugin, or maybe that's just part of WordPress. But either way, it's definitely not working here. Uh, so it's not showing any of the videos. Uh, so you know, uh, that's that's it for the pretty much for the front end. Other than that, it looks okay. I'm not sure why it's not stretching all the way across, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm probably going to blame that on my theme because it looks like it's doing the same thing here with the WP Courseware. Uh, it does show my, my sidebar, but for some reason it's not doing that here. Uh, as far as the back end goes, uh, with uh, WP Courseware, what you get is you actually get two different sections here. You get the training course where you can add all these different things. Uh, it integrates nicely with S2 Member. Uh, and then you can add each different course unit individually. With the WP exec, uh, execution plan, when you click on that, this is what you get. You just get the one uh, little section here, which is okay. Uh, when I click on this course, then it brings me to a page where I can put in my description, things like that. And then I click on manage course in order to actually get to each of the individual EP uh, parts. So once it loads up here, I'm gonna click that or maybe not. Okay, there it goes. It's acting a little crazy. Uh, so in the back end, uh, here's the different uh, sections of my of my course. I can click on each one of those and then I see each uh, individual, what I would call a module, I guess. Uh, so each of those has something in it and you can see here in the second one that when I pasted that, uh, that Vimeo code in here, it does show it in the back end here like it's supposed to, but as you saw on the front end, it definitely didn't do that. So if I click on the text tab, you can see that's all I've posted in there. Uh, but that does work on the WP Courseware. It looks like something's just not right in this system. Uh, but that's that's kind of how the back end looks uh, under the settings. There's not a whole lot there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the ugly green. You know, I'd rather probably match my my logo colors or something along those lines and there's nothing there to edit any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you do have a course index page, which uh, I haven't chose one yet uh, for another reason I'll show you in a second here, uh, but it does give you an option to, to change the different headings. And you can do some custom CSS, so I'm sure that's where I could change the coloring and things like that. Um, yeah, that's okay, but I'm not a CSS person, so it'd probably take me hours to do. Um, so the last thing I wanted to show you was um, my uh, my FTP account here uh, when I uh, after I did a couple of things with the different courses uh, I came back to my site and uh, the site wouldn't come up it was gonna be a 500 error and so I opened my HT access because I saw that it had been written to today and this is what it did I mean it, it really hosed it up bad so it looks like over and over again it kept saving the, the uh, beginning and end WordPress stuff and I was not messing in the permalinks or anything like that. Uh, the only thing I've done to my website today is, is play with this courseware. So uh, kind of interesting that, that it did that a whole bunch of times so I had to go through and blast all these out of there so that uh, my website would come back up. Uh, but uh, it looks like it's on the road to, uh, to being something pretty cool. Uh, I don't know that it's there yet but uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Have a great weekend.